You know, the end of last season really took on a life of its own. It was so special. And we celebrated that in the moment, which you don't often get to do. In basketball and coaching, you have so many ups and downs, and often we get focused on the losses. But man, it, it was so fun and a great group to be around. And what I was most happy about was that the personalities of the guys came out. You know, there was so much exposure, and it's really, other than UConn, the only East Coast team that was still alive heading into that Sweet 16 weekend. So the attention through the media and then you know, the opportunity that the guys had to have their own voices was there. And then they were themselves. While we were living it, it was very apparent to us and to the guys that this was special. What's up everyone? We are in Folk 305. This is my room as well as Mush's. Um, today's a pretty cool day for Princeton basketball. And for myself, I am about to get on a Zoom call with a senior vice president from Warner Bros. who was uh, on the Barbie movie, which is pretty cool. Um, this summer, I worked for Thunder Road Films, which is a movie production company. Uh, coach Henderson helped me facilitate that. Thank you, Coach. That was big time. Um, I really loved what I did over there over the summer. I really think that's an industry I want to see myself getting into. So about this call with Kate, that was pretty much just uh, me taking advantage of the Princeton network and the Princeton alumni community. So just pumped about this and uh, ready to have a good day. Growing up, it's something I always like, that was how I spent my time watching movies. I love everything by David Lynch. I'm actually writing my thesis about David Lynch. I'm stoked about that. Um, Holland Drive, Lost Highway, just some of my favorites. Chinatown, and you know we got Heat here by Michael Mann. Um, this is a favorite of Motion Eyes. It's all time. De Niro, Pacino. Just wrapped up the Zoom with Kate. Uh, went really well. Super excited to stay in touch. Um, but now the rest of our day starts. We got lift. We got practice. Football game plays Columbia at seven. We'll be there supporting. They need a big win. Uh, first Ivy League game, so let's go. Let's go Tigers, come on. Really excited, you know, we've been working the last couple of weeks, workouts, you know, hours, two times a week, something like that. Uh, but we're, you know, looking forward to officially starting, you know, going, practicing five, six days a week and really getting this thing going. He and I just got done with a multivariable calf test, so all, all we're thinking about is basketball now, so we're super excited to get after it, you know, with the freshmen, their first practice. Should be a great day. Got the math test done, just like them. Yeah. Not feeling as good as them, but um, <laughs> we got it done. Enjoy it. Ready for the, we're ready for the weekend. Ready for the weekend. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. It's exciting. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm sure I speak for our team. Uh, we got a lot of new guys. I'm excited to see what they can do. We know they're good, but we're just ready for another year and hopefully not just get back to the point we finish that, but go beyond that. We got a lot of guys who get extra work in, so we came in before lift. We're going to lift right now. Hopefully we'll have a great practice. I'm sure we will. It's our first day. We're excited. And then uh, we're going to go support the football team after. There's no corners cut here. Going back to last season, some of the games where we were able to come out on top, those were the littlest things matter the most. So with discipline comes freedom and then joy, right? And you wanna have fun doing the little things really well. You know, it can't force that. It's gotta come from the work that they're doing. The schedule's quite hard. Uh, we know that, but we've gotta just get a little bit better every day. And I think that's been a good recipe for us. Mush is one of the most dynamic leaders I've ever been around, and I think it will go down as, as one of the best leaders in Princeton basketball history. Zach's doing great. He really had such a terrific finish to the season a year ago, and he seems to have picked up where he left off. A captain, a leader, very much an example. All about the things that matter in terms of success. For Cade, 
what a great freshman year. And now we want him to explore the next level, the next steps. He's capable, he's worked really hard. We think he can be a force in the league as a sophomore and, and a leader on our team. Savian has matured a lot and is ready and, and willing to accept a much larger role this year and that's what's expected of him. And mostly with Xavier, I think that um, I'd like to see his personality come to life because he's got such joy with the way that he plays. Blake is such a strong influence on the team in terms of his on and off the court persona. He's what we aspire our guys to be like here at Princeton in the sense that he's maximizing himself on and off the court. Out of the freshman class together, I'd like to see that they put their own stamp on the team. It's difficult to play as a freshman, as we all know, but you're not winning the league and you're not being successful without them. So can the older guys create a spirit of improvement and a willingness to engage with them? And then they, can they not be afraid, compete, and put their own stamp on the program? I'm excited to watch them. I think it's best when you play as if you're not thinking too much. And that's what we hope to draw on. Of course, here it is, late September, and we're getting ready to get going. But, you know, the standard is higher. Yeah, this group did something really unique that, you know, may not be done again for a while, but it's certainly our intention to do so. Energized, weekend's here. No better way to start it. Can't wait for practice tomorrow, compete a little more. Great to spend time with my brothers, my teammates. One of the things I think that we do really well here at Princeton and we put a lot of emphasis on is how we're integrated into the campus community. And that starts for us with our connection with the women's basketball team. We are first supporters of one another. We're at the gym at the same time almost every single day. And I think that that creates a sense of balance and well-being and a, a feeling of togetherness between both teams. It's a really special opportunity to recognize something that you've done that's unique, that was impactful for us, of course, but also for the campus, the larger campus community and our alums. And often we forget to celebrate these moments, but we don't. <laughs> we are really happy to be a part of this. You know, mark it down in, in terms of a significant moment and then draw on it all the time. Our guys take a lot of pride in being there for their fellow student athletes. Please welcome your Princeton women's and men's basketball team for the field. Hey, this is the Aggie fan of the time of the Aggie on the field, man. It's the Aggie night for Princeton. It doesn't have much better than this. I think one of the coolest things about Princeton is that you are all on campus together. You're not just drawing from your teammates, which of course we do, but you're learning from your peers every day, at lunch, at dinner, as you walk to and from class, in class, and that's seeping into your pores throughout the course of your four years, and it happens over time. I get to see it, you know, they probably, guys probably don't see the change as much as we get to, but I think it's what Princeton does best, is that four-year undergraduate experience is unlike anything else in the country.